Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Paula McGurdy and I'm an artist from Dublin in Ireland and someone who's navigating the world of selling art online at the fabulous age of 50 odd. I want to talk about something that I know many artists struggle with, um, especially as we get older, and that is how to show up authentically online, how to be yourself. It's so easy to feel like we need to be something or someone we're not when we step into the digital space. But here's the thing, being yourself and genuinely showing up really is what sells. It is your biggest asset. So let's dive into why this matters and how you can embrace your true self online, even if you feel a little late to the game. Let's start with why authenticity is so important when it comes to selling your art. Well, we live in a time when people crave connection. They want to know the artist behind the art. It's not no longer about just the finished product. We are, have so many huge corporations that regurgitate the same thing over and over again. Just these finished products that are like cookie cutters and people are now really searching for something that is that they can truly connect to. It's about you. It's about your story. It's about your process, your quirks and everything that makes your art uniquely yours. And the beautiful thing is, is that when you're in your 40s, 50s and beyond, you have this wealth of life experience that younger artists might not have. You've lived through ups and downs and that richness can and should be part of your online presence. You don't need to overshare, but just being real can really draw people in. When I first started putting my work online, I was tempted to try and fit into what I thought the online art world wanted. I felt like maybe I needed to tone down my personality a little bit, post more polished content, which let's be honest, that can work. Um, or to try and emulate the younger trendy artists I saw. But these were all things that were preventing me. And I felt exhausted by it. I didn't just feel exhausted, but they were just barriers. It just made me stop, not create and put my stuff online. It was almost like procrastination because there was a fear there because I wasn't showing up in the way that others were. And it wasn't until I started sharing more of my true self, my process, my mistakes, my stories, that I began to see a real connection with my audience. People loved seeing the real me. It was a reminder that we don't have to fit in to succeed. In fact, the more I embraced my authentic self, the more people responded. But there was a fear of being seen. And let's talk about that fear. Showing up as yourself online can be scary, especially if you're not used to being in the spotlight. I know many of us of this age group Grew up in a time where self-promotion wasn't a common thing. We didn't have social media. There weren't cameras everywhere. And it's so different now. So for many of us, it can feel really uncomfortable to put yourself out there. And it's easy to think, who's going to care about what I have to say or what I have to show? But if you want to do this, here's the truth. People will care, but only if you show up. When I started, I had so many doubts. I'd scroll through Instagram and see all these young artists with these perfectly curated feeds and think there's no way I can compete, compete with that. Beautiful hair, beautiful makeup, beautiful setups, beautiful studios. And then I realized I don't have to because it was preventing me from even starting in the first place. And I wanted to start and I realized I'm not competing with anybody. My story, my journey as an artist is com completely unique and that's the beauty of it. And when I started showing up as myself, being a little bit messy, being a little bit rough around the edges, let's be honest, sharing the raw parts of my creative process, people really connected with that. They could see the real person behind the art and that's what made them stay. It's easy to feel like you need to follow trends to succeed or being told about what to post and all of this stuff. 
But what if I told you that just being yourself is your superpower? I know that sounds a bit cringy, but it is. There's only one you and that's what will set you apart, especially as an artist in your 40s, 50s. You bring so much to the table, your age, your experience, your perspective. It's all part of your story. And trust me, that story is what will sell your art. People want to feel something when they buy art. It's not just a pretty picture on the wall. They want to connect with the artist. They want to know what made the artist paint that picture or make that sculpture. They want to know the inspiration behind it. They want to know more of the context and it makes the experience all the more meaningful. I remember the first time I shared a personal story about one of my paintings online. It wasn't just about the technique or the colors I used, but about the inspiration behind it. Something from my childhood that still influences my work today. And the response was overwhelming. I didn't know whether people would understand it or would get it or connect with it. But people commented about how much they connected with the story behind the art. Not because their story was the same, but just they really appreciated me sharing more of the meaning behind it. And it reminded me that people aren't just buying a painting, they're buying a piece of your story. And the only way can they, they can do that is if you show up being genuine and being your true self. So now that we know being authentic matters, how do you actually do that? How do you show up online as you? Well, first, don't be afraid to share behind the scenes of the process. And I know that can sound really, really simple and easy. And I know I've been doing it for a few years, but people really love seeing the messy middle. It's where the magic happens. And for quite some time, I didn't want to do this. I thought people just wanted to see the finished piece and to see the perfection of just an actual piece finished and framed and ready to go. But the more I started sharing behind the scenes of you know, my workspace and what inspired me, uh, the more relatable and real it felt. So don't be afraid to show your workspaces, be them messy or not, or don't be afraid to share your challenges. For me, it was sharing the less glamorous parts of being an artist. I posted a video where I completely messed up a painting and at first I wasn't going to share it. I was so nervous to share it. As I said, I I thought people just wanted to see finished artworks, them all framed up and ready to hang on a wall. But guess what? People loved it. They appreciated the honesty and the vulnerability and it showed them that I'm human just like them and that art isn't always perfect, that things go wrong and you don't always paint a picture the way you want it done the first time around. There's a lot of back and forward to that. That post ended up getting more engagement than anything else I'd share previous to that. So really don't shy away from showing the real you. The more you show up as yourself, the more confident you'll become. At first it might feel strange or uncomfortable. I get that, I really do. But with time you'll start to see how people respond to you being you and showing up that way and that will build your confidence. Some of the people that I follow and enjoy the most are the people who are really just themselves and I know that they're probably exactly that way be it on social media in front of the camera but also behind the camera as well. If I was to meet them in real life I just know that that will be them and that's how you end up connecting with people. And being yourself, that will just build your confidence because you know you can't go wrong with that. It's a cycle as well. The more you show up, the more connected you'll feel to those who follow you and your audience and the more confident you'll be in sharing your work. Most people are really for you and they really want to see you succeed. Remember, there is a world out there waiting to see your art and hear your story. So don't let fear stop you from being seen. I used to think that because I was in my 50s, the online space wasn't for me. Um, It really prevented me for quite a few years. And I felt like the older I got, the less inclined I was to show up. 
But now I know that age isn't a barrier. It's actually an advantage. And especially for platforms like YouTube, it really is. You bring so much to the table and there's an audience out there who wants to see your art, hear your voice and connect with you. So don't hold back, show up, be yourself and watch how your authenticity becomes your biggest asset. If you're in your 40s, 50s and beyond and feeling unsure about putting yourself out there, just remember that your story, your experiences and your unique perspective are what make you stand out. So embrace it. Don't be afraid to show the world who you really are, because that's exactly what people want to see. Thank you so much for watching. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more and let me know in the comments what's one thing you're going to do to show up more authentically online. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time folks, bye.